my gorgeous sparkly scrumptious delicious gemini welcome to your love tarot reading this is going to be for you and your person my baby whatever that means to you situationship relationship bumble didn't marriage let's see what's happening for gemini in their person gemini summon rising venus please show me angels and goddess aphrodite also gemini welcome to my channel if you're new and if you are a returning blue angel thank you i appreciate you I love you. I see you, baby. Give mommy a kiss. Mm, Gemini, I love you so much. I missed you. Did you miss me? Mommy's been, mommy's been so neglectful. I'm so, so sorry, baby. I just like, we're, we're back on, we need to get back on track with this whole situation. I think I'm going to do a vlogmas or something. But I'll be honest with you, Gemini, as crazy as this sounds, my entire technology has been totally failing me. It's been one thing after another for the past two months since we came to Gibraltar. And uh, I'm just, look, apart from tarot, I do a lot of magical stuff. I've been a uh, working a lot with the spirits of the place and the spirits um, of the dead. Like, let's just be honest, the dead, the dead are breaking my phone. <laughs> so I've just, I've been acquiring phones and then reacquiring. It's just been like a whole drama this entire week. So anyways, but Bill, enough excuses from your mommy. You know, I love you so much, my Gemini's. I'm Scorpio Sun and Rising, but but I got that Gemini lifestyle, as you know, my baby. Uh, so that's enough about me. Let's talk about you, my baby. But yeah, just like just a quick update. You know, I I do um I do do a lot of stuff with the dead and stuff, and also with like different types of spirits. And I do a lot of magical workings, and it's just been um it's been working because the technology has been crazy. But it's really helping your mommy because it's really deepening um you know a lot of my things and 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 my journey. So thank you uh, for uh, being so patient and your Walter. So such a beautiful place and there's so much beautiful energy here so but that being said uh you have the nine of coins here for your person <laughs> in the so look with the you versus them there's some kind of a separation some some going on right that's what we're assuming um this is not a douche flute reading okay i'm gonna say straight away this is not a douche flute douche flute toss anyone in between this is someone who loves you but bill but someone who for some reason thinks they're thinking twice they're thinking trice <laughs> trice thrice trice Gemini. <laughs> Gemini lifestyle. All right, but Bill, they're thinking thrice. They're thinking a lot. All right, they're asking the spirits of the place, the spirits of the dead. They're like, should I? Shouldn't I? They don't know if they should message you. They're trying to gain more information about what the situation is between the two of you. Um, you know, love and separation readings don't mean that there's going to be a reunion. As um, many of you know, I don't do twin flame readings. So we're not assuming there's some kind of reunion happening ever. We're assuming we're just, you know, looking to see what's going to happen. But I think, you know, the energy here is like, you know, they almost feel, this person feels to me like they feel like there's something inevitable here about this connection. So, you know, this is a deep, deep soulmate situation. This is someone who loves you dearly and truly. Let's see why they, what, what, what went wrong. <laughs> but it is someone who's difficult to work with, Gemini. You know, you, you're a great communicator. You need someone who's a great communicator. It's not a good communicator. It could be an earth sign. It could be an obtuse. It doesn't have to be, but it's in their energy. It's in their chart, you know, the aura of earth. There's a lot of pentacles here. Something pent up in this person. Yeah, okay. So now I see there's a lot of drama here. I'm not going to lie. The fact that this person is terrible at communication caused you a lot of issues, my baby. Oh, my baby. Mommy's going to make it better. Come here. Mm, good bill. No, this person really hurts you, my baby Gemini. But it's because of their communication was so bad. They didn't know how to share their feelings. And they were very, like, possessive almost about their feelings or their possessions. This person is paranoid about being used. They don't want to be used. If it was a bimbo himbo, anyone in between you met on Tinder on a Tuesday, all right, with some new energy. This person just, like, is obsessed about, like, not being used. They, you know, they, they want to give the minimum. This could be the energy of someone who's been burnt in the past and they're like, never again. But they, they're coming into a relationship with you with baggage. And something caused you a lot of pain here. It's an interesting, interesting dynamic. There's Scorpio energy here with the Death card and the Nine of Swords. Someone caused you pain. Someone caused you loneliness. Wow. It's like there's so much potential here for this connection. This person does love you. They're so interested in you and they do love you. Could have been someone who asked you out. Uh... Once they'd already like seen you, it's almost like this person was watching you. It's like, you know, they're like sizing you up. There's like, they're, it's kind of like an obsessed with you energy. They were obsessed with you. But then when they got you, when they got the, the chance to, you know, be with you, they effed it up. They left it alone. Let's see why. It's like something in them was like not trusting you, Gemini. What is that about? You know, I I've, I, I know how this works. I've had that, that happen. Mommy's had this happen. You know, people were like, 
Gem you know, it's that Gemini lifestyle. You're too good to be true. Or like people, like some people just come in like, you know, asking, like wanting to see something, wanting to like accuse you of something. Uh, you're also, you know, I mean, people love Gemini energy. So this person could have been quite jealous. Yeah. So this person had an issue maybe with how social or brilliant you are. So if you're wondering why did this person suddenly drop off or why was there suddenly drama with this person? It's actually a person with a lot of pent up something, maybe jealousy, maybe you have like baggage from the past. But yeah. And you, you weren't doing anything bad uh, unless you're, you, you're being a little bit naughty. Then uh, I see this person is like thinking about definitely forgiving whatever happened here. But I don't think that's what it was. I think it was someone with that King of Wands energy. Someone has a lot of pent up anger that comes up in a lot, a lot in my reading sometimes. Uh, you, you know, that King, King of Wands can be someone who has anger issues, baby. So, um, hmm. But maybe you didn't see the side of them, you know, before they got angry, they left or something like that. They saw something out of the corner of their eye on your phone or you have like a lot of gorgeous baby friends or like, why does Gemini have so many friends? There's something going on. You know, it's just like a weird this person is obsessed with like not being used. They came with, with a lot of insecurities. If it was a more established connection, you were in, you know, a marriage of 20 years. You were alone in this marriage. You were uh, neglected emotionally. You were neglected in every way. You could have uh, felt like a trophy. So it could have been that, you know, you had a marriage that was successful in the sense of like from the outside, you had nice cars, nice houses, whatever. A yacht. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, a summer, summer palace. But the truth is that it was a very, very lonely place to be. And you had to rely on, you know, maybe communicating with other boo-boos or other friends. And this person accused you of something here. You know, they, they got angry with you that, that, um, in your loneliness, maybe you got too close to a friend of yours, uh, or you know something along those lines. And you know if you're wondering why, and but you were so neglected. This person was like really cruel to you. There's something really faulty to this person. You know this person has a lot of anger that they're not expressing, or it could have been a very explosive person in in the connection. Uh, let's see, how did this person treat my Gemini? Just like they were almost like not present in the connection. You know what I mean? Uh, and it is because they just I don't know. They're just like not. I don't think it's a bad person, but I think it is a person who struggles let's see my baby yeah yeah you know three of swords there's a lot of heartbreak here a lot of heartbreak this person could have accused you of stuff like turned things around on you but it's you know i'm not getting a narcissist though i'm not getting like a bad person i'm getting you know hurt people hurt people whatever this issue was they could be uh, carrying a lot of suspicions or anger from the past uh, if money was involved this person was you know afraid of being taken for a ride or you know something like that it could be you're dealing with someone who was moneyed um you have judgment here for how they see you they do want to they they see with someone they want to resurrect uh, the connection with they want to revive the love with you <laughs> So a separation could have occurred even a full year ago, around this time last year, um, or nine months ago. Uh, the Knight of Wands is someone who's fully intending to come in on this fiery energy, sea king, and Knight of Wands, queen, anyone between, doesn't matter, gender is arbitrary, but it is someone coming on in on this fiery energy, intending to revive the connection, and then you have the Empress, my baby. <laughs> If you're the empress, someone wants to make you the empress. They want to kiss the ground that you walk upon. And if you are an emperor, anyone between, this is someone, you know, who uh, uh, wants to be your empress again. Let's get some advice for my Gemini. I feel like the cards are very positive. So, you know, whatever happened here in the past, um, you know, the gist of this is that this is someone who was emotionally lacking and who wasn't, you know, just neglect, emotional neglect, inability to... Um, Raise up to expectations, but they're going to correct the situation. They're going to correct the behavior. Um, let's see. Please show me angels. Yeah. So I page of wands. So a lot of fire here. So you know, uh, especially if you have children with this person, you know, there is something to be said about like you know, uh, taking the children into account, making sure they're okay, but also you know, reviving this connection quite possibly with this person, but going slow. You know, if this person, if you were married to them and they effed up, what you need to do is like you need to start dating again. You know, and if it was a new baby, you know, take it step by step. Don't let this person into the temple of the goddess straight away. Like uh, let the douche flute work on it. Baby. Uh, so this is what I have for you today, my darling, sparkly, spicy, mm, mm, scrumptious Gemini. <laughs> I ran out of words. Let me know in the comments below if this is your story, my baby. 
Also, if you vibe with my channel and you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe, turn on the notification button, and of course, I like the video because liking the video really helps me out as a small creator on YouTube. And if you'd like to get a personal reading with me or uh, use any of my other magical services, including talking to the spirits that they're uh, <laughs> messing with my technology, all the information is down below, my darling. Stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. Mm -hmm. One more time.